the question is how can we translate Gita the philosophy of Krishna into augmenting business in India I am I have not read the Gita so <laughs> I really have not <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> because uh, for me uh, my own vision has never failed me so I always kept away from all scriptures because I didn't want to clutter myself with something or the other the only thing that I learned and I continue to do is if I look at something, if I look at a person, I know their past, present and future. That is the level of attention I'm paying to them. I don't look at like this. When I look, I look at it completely with all that I have. If you pay enough attention, there is nothing that will not yield. So I never had any reason or need to go looking for scriptures or something. With all… with all uh, respect and regard for them, it is not that I am averse to it, it's just that I have not had the time. How this whole process started is, when I was very young, I realized that I just don't know anything. See, if you realize that you do not know, if it's a, a full-scale realization that you do not know anything, paying attention will be natural because you know everything. Ah, you know this guy, you know this, 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 this. There are assumptions and assumptions and assumptions. Well, I have used it in a different way, but even if you're doing business, even if it's for business purposes, the only reason why one human being seems to be… all the opportunity seems to be going in his direction and not other people is simply because he is able to see and other people are not able to see. It's not that it's not there for others, <laughs> one is able to see and others are not able to see. So essentially, a leader means that you are able to see something that others are not able to see. So, attention without intention, simply being attentive, that's what we were trying to do in the afternoon. Not paying attention to something, just practicing attention a very heightened level of attention where an unfocused attention, but when you focus it on something, just about anything has to yield, there is no other way to that attention. So, I always focused on enhancing and sharpening my attention, never on retention <laughs> because what you gather is not you. Essentially, you know that you exist only because you have some sense of attention right now, isn't it? Suppose you fall asleep and you lose your attention, you do not even know that you exist. So the basis of your existence itself is attention. And this attention need not be mortgaged to anything. You just have to sharpen the attention. There was some… Uh, there was an industry coming up close by, they wanted to build a water treatment plant. I happened to know the person who was running the industry. I just went there and I wanted to meet him. I was sitting in his office, they were discussing something about a water treatment plant. I just heard this and they were looking at the drawings and stuff. Then I asked him, can I apply, can I do this because it is close to my farm, can I do this? He said, no, no, this is very complex, there are some experts from Mumbai and Bangalore who will come and do it, you cannot do it. I said, give me a chance, let me see. I took the file from him, I went and read through everything. Then I went back to him after three days and said, I can do this. He said, don't you do this, you're my friend, I don't want to do this. Now just let me give a 
you know, the tender. So I, you know, those days there was something called as Navakarnataka book stalls. They were selling only the Russian books. You used to get big literature books, you can get Lev Tolstoy's War and Peace for two rupees and engineering books for one rupee, two rupees, all hardborn books. I bought ten books about water treatment plant, <laughs> sat down in my farm and poured through this day and night. I made my own new design. I went there and I gave a tender for 1.76 lakhs. Mind you, this is seventies. And the closest tender was thirty-two lakhs. The highest tender was over sixty lakhs. He looked at this and said, you are funny. <laughs> You're not going to do this. I said, no, I can do it. He said, no way you can do it. Look at this, the nearest tender is thirty-two lakhs and you're saying 1.76 lakhs, how will you do it? I said, give me one more day. I went back again and poured through the books. I said, I'll do it. Then he said, it's ninety days, you must finish this and it must work. If it doesn't work, at your own cost, you must remove it, clean the site and go and I will not give you a rupee of advance. I again went and poured through the books. I said, I can do it. I completed this in a little over seventy days. I did this in ninety plus thousand rupees. In one shot I made eighty thousand rupees, just like that. People thought this is a hit. <laughs> there my construction industry started. Raja Ramana was coming for RMP plant. He's just coming in a helicopter to see where the site is. There is no anybody there. I just went and met this engineer, he said he was breaking his head, I don't know what to do, I have to mark the site. I said, I've got pegs and white cloth. <laughs> I will just go and mark the site for you. I marked it, they paid me thirty-eight thousand rupees for a fifteen-minute job. I went on my motorcycle and just fixed it myself. Like this my enterprise started and we grew into a major construction company. We were going very big, but then I got enlightened so I gave up <laughs> Yoga 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 Swaraya Yoga 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 Swaraya Yoga, yoga, yoga.